today was the heat temperatures up to 90 degrees. First time that we've had a 90 degree day in September since 2018. So it's been a couple of years since we've been this hot as of this month. Got more of this possible later this week. A couple 90s potentially in the forecast. There is one fall like day, however, coming up, uh, but that may be it for the next seven plus days as we really hold on to that summer heat throughout this week and into early next week because of the warmth barely dropping below 70 tonight. Partly cloudy conditions, slight chance for some rain late overnight and same for early tomorrow morning. For the most part, though, looking partly to mostly clear uh, with some clouds moving in later. You can see temperatures easily in the 70s, so definitely not in jacket weather as you send everybody off to school in the morning. Reason why we're getting a little rainfall, this cold front that you see over western Iowa that slides in early tomorrow morning, bringing with it a chance for a couple scattered showers. There is a slight chance for some storms after midnight as they scoot along this warm front. For the most part, they stay to our north, but there is that little chance for some rumbles of thunder late tonight. So as we start our future track right now, you can see after about two in the morning, that's when we have some very spotty activity sliding through, basically north of US 20 and mostly in southern Wisconsin. That's where the best chance for thunderstorms are. You may hear a quick rumble of thunder, though, especially if you live right along the Wisconsin Illinois state line. Later on in the morning. Here we are a little closer to sunrise, seeing hints of this cold front finally come through. Uh, for the most part, though, it's very spotty showers. So if anything, slight chance for isolated rain, and that is about it throughout the morning. We go into the afternoon, the weather drying out. There could be some thunderstorms to our southeast, but for the most part, we'll just get some passing clouds and some breezy winds all throughout the day as we have that cold front slide on by. So expect some breezy conditions in the morning as well. Again, starting out very warm and then jumping from there. Keep in mind, and uh, we've got some heat still lingering around even with that cold front coming through. So 85 coming for the high temperature. It's still about 10 degrees above average. And that's about the theme of the week. Then after we have that one cool day on Wednesday, that's when the air behind the cold front fully takes hold. We dip below 80 degrees, but then quickly skyrocket back up to possibly 90 this weekend. Overall in the forecast, average high of about 86. That's around 10 degrees above average each day with the exception of Wednesday. So uh, definitely look, not looking fall like anytime soon. You can see in the forecast, we got another hot weekend around the corner as we'll stay in the upper 80s to low 90s. Even still seeing some of that heat into early next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, conditions may cool down in the middle of next week. We have a cold front coming through by about next Wednesday, which is the official start of the fall season, uh, but that could drop us right around the upper 70s to low 80s. So it may not be fully fall like, but at least we're trending in that direction as we go into the middle of the week. Otherwise looking very summer like uh, for quite some time. And because we got up to 90 degrees today, four degree guarantee was off target. The forecast is 84, uh, but we again felt the heat as of this afternoon. So Sarah C of Rockford wins $169. There's not a bad cash total. Tomorrow's forecast 85 as we try to get right back on target and start a new streak. So it's been about two weeks or more that uh, we've been on target. So that's a pretty good streak overall. And I think that warm front was a little tricky today, Brittany. Mm -hmm. That's why we ended up heating up so warm instead of keeping things more in the middle 80s. I see. Well, congratulations to Sarah. But that 90 degree mark, it seems like we're going to have that a little while longer. Pretty different to see, you know, these summer like temps in uh, September. That's uh, the thing with it, though, is we only really get like maybe one or two days like this in September. So the fact that we're getting it all in one week is pretty remarkable. And uh, now that we have 90s in the forecast, we know it's coming later this week uh, instead of today where it pops up a little bit by surprise. All right. Well, congratulations to Sarah and we are starting it over once again. Alex, thanks for that.